Hello, I'm Daniel with Geovision Technical Solutions, and in this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to install the Geovision NVR software. So, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and choose option number two for installed Geovision paid software, and choose yes on the license agreement. And then we're going to choose the first option, which is GVAVR slash NVR. Now the first thing we should see is a list of the hardware capture cards with the NVR at the top. NVR simply stands for Network Video Recorder. So we're going to go ahead and select the NVR and choose Next. Then we'll come across the panel resolution. We want the panel resolution to best match our Windows resolution. To figure out our Windows resolution, we'll go down to Start and in the search type in Desk. Dot CPL. That's Delta Echo Sierra Kilo dot Charlie Papa Lima. And then press enter. And a dialog box will pop up and you'll notice your resolution right here. Mine is 1280 by 800. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And I'm going to find the same resolution inside the GeoVision install. If you do not have a matching resolution, you want to get it as close as possible, but you want to keep it smaller. If the main panel resolution is larger than your Windows resolution, you won't get all the icons. So make sure it's smaller if you do not have a matching resolution. I'll go ahead and choose Next. And I'm going to choose Add to Startup. If you have the infrared remote, you can go ahead and install the remote control for Startup. Go ahead and click Next. And then the destination location is perfectly fine. Go ahead and click Next. And then the program folder is perfectly fine. Go ahead and click Next. And then click Install. Now this install takes about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the hardware inside the computer. Once it's done installing, it'll want us to restart the computer. So go ahead and choose yes, I want to restart my computer, and then click finish. Once your computer is restarted, the multicam system should automatically start up. And the first thing it's going to do is open up the GV IP device utility and scan the network for all GeoVision IP cameras. Now keep in mind, if you have third-party IP cameras, the GV IP device utility does not scan for third-party IP cameras. The easiest, quickest way to set these up is to go ahead and select the first one, hold down the shift key and select the last one, and drag and drop the cameras over to the camera positions over on the right-hand side. And then click the folder for export, and then give it the file name NVR1, click Save, and from a prior installation, I already have one. I'm going to go ahead and choose yes to overwrite. And then you can close the GV IP device utility. After you close it, the multicam system will then ask to create a username and a password. I'm going to go ahead and use our default, which is four zeros. Now, you can create whatever you want. Email list, you can set up an email address to have the password sent to, if you ever use, lose it. I'm going to choose Add and press OK. And then, if you want, you can choose Auto Login. Basically, once the GeoVision Multicam system loads on Windows Startup, it'll automatically log in to the Multicam system. And then, Allow Password Removal. This is kind of an important feature. If you do not checkmark this and you do not have the emails set up inside the GV NVR, then you would have to reinstall Windows to remove the password system. So I'm going to go ahead and checkmark this and press OK. After you press OK, then the GeoVision NVR loads. And that's pretty much it on the installation. 